Aloha everyone, I'm Malika Dudley for my blog Life Swell and today I wanted to talk a little bit more about my experience with Pure Bar. I am in the 200 club. I know that's not a thing, but I've done another 100 classes. Answer some of your questions, some of the most frequently asked questions that I get from people um, about bar. How do you get the most out of your workout at bar? Well, it's all mental as far as getting the most out of it. Um, it takes a while to kind of have the technique click. It takes a while to really understand how to achieve that shake right away. It takes a while to um, just get to that place to go there um, where it's almost an out of body experience, but um, you're working at your peak um, for yourself. And so that's what I try to do every class. I try to go there. I go to that spot. It's almost like um, when, when you're, in labor. <laughs> it's like an out of body experience. It's almost like that. It doesn't hurt quite as much, but almost. And a question that I get kind of going along with um, how do I get the most out of my workout is some people tell me um, I've been going for two months and I still don't shake or I don't sweat or I don't feel like this workout is for me um, because it's not challenging me. And my answer to those people is, I understand. I totally understand. When I walked in, I knew nothing about bar, and it, it didn't scare me, but I was confused. I mean, I went in there, I almost walked out. If I hadn't paid for the class, um, I would have walked out because I didn't get it. I mean, I didn't even know, I didn't know anything about bar before I walked into a class. So I was going in completely blind. Um, so I went to a breaking down the bar class, which really helped to kind of at least give me a foundation. So now I'm starting with the foundation of knowing, you know, what all the terminology means. Lift, tuck, um, extend, down an inch, up an inch, you know, um, contracting this or that. And so all the words now start to make sense in your mind so you can go from your mind to doing it in your body. So, I mean, it took months months and months and months for me to actually um, understand the technique to be able to give myself the best workout in a pure bar class. So what I mean by that is after each class in the beginning, um, if something didn't feel right, if something was sore, or if I really felt like I'm not shaking, I'm not sweating, this is not working, I would go to the teacher after class and try to remember what it was and I would ask them to show me what I'm doing wrong. And so we'd get under the bar or we'd get on the ground and I would do it my way and then they would show me how to do it correctly and then I would do it until I got it right. And even then, after asking questions every single day after months and months and months, I don't know, it's just one day, it's like an epiphany and the light bulb goes off and you go, oh, that's what they meant. <laughs> For me, it was really understanding what it meant to just isolate and contract the muscle you're working on. And so that was the aha moment for me, you know, in arms when they say, you know, work through honey, you know, and that you're contracting up and down. And so I'm shaking all the way up and all the way down because I'm actually focusing on the shoulder and the bicep and even the tricep as I come down. And so it's being able to put all of your energy and strength into contracting just the muscle that you're supposed to be working on. Um, it takes time because you also want to be relaxed in other areas. You want your shoulders to be down, you want your neck to be relaxed and in line with your back. And um, it takes a while to actually build the strength up to have the right form. And so that really took a while as well um, for me to achieve. The stronger you get, the easier it is to achieve the right technique and the easier it is to have that mind-body connection and then the harder and more challenging your workout can be because you actually know exactly where to isolate and what to contract right at that moment and so you can actually go there. So I would say for those of you that um, 
are feeling like, oh, this is not working for me, or I'm not sweating, I'm not, I'm not getting it. Just stick with it and ask questions and really listen to your teachers because exactly what they're saying is, is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And so if you're feeling like your standing leg is getting too tired or, um, I don't know, you just have to fall out of something, it's probably because your technique is a little bit off. Once you get the strength to be able to hold the technique, um, to hold your form, then you can actually get the most out of each technique and exercise that you're doing.